the lobbies in passive mode, Rockstar couldn't even at least try to implement. Like, of all the basic things... All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go to my camp, and I'll, when I get there, I'll uh, invite you guys to my session. Yeah. Okay. Let me go get something to. Let me get something to eat. I'll be right back. Here's what I here I just yeah he's like little pussy and I'm like don't harass lower ranked players. That's a bitch move. <sighs> All right, Ooh, I'm feeling good now. That helped. Okay, you guys on already? I should be coming on in a second. Alright, no rush, it's not a big deal. You know what would suck though? What? If we, we had... actually end up in the same We, we wind up back where we started, <laughs> like, Jesus. <It's... laughs> the ineptitude of Rockstar is insurmountable. If... If the guy... If we are there and the guy happens to be there, we'll take him. Just fucking pick on him the whole night. Make up for the eight kills he had on me. <laughs> Just kill him repeatedly. I, didn't, I don't know how many kills I got on him, but you know what? It doesn't matter. He he got driven off. That's all that matters to me. He ran away, and I was yeah, like, you know that, what? That's, that's a fair. That's a fair trade. Anyway. All right. I'm gonna look at the Red Dead Reddit. The Reddit Dead Redemption, you might say. The Reddit Dead Redemption. Yeah. Right. Go that. ahead and make myself some explosives. Remake a lot of my equipment. I never realized how depressing that funeral, not the funeral, but the the Blackwater Cemetery was until I started reading the, the tombstones. But the funniest there. one, the funniest one is the one where it's like, wake me up when something interesting happens. It's like this... This guy died 1885, and it's like, well, just wake me up when things get better. <laughs> Everything else is like, died of a disease, got shot in the back, or, you know, got hit with an Indian's arrow, and I was just like, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay, so, look at it, the funeral, too. Ready online in our communities from the players of any corner of the globe, so choosing one time simply wouldn't be fair due to time zone differences, school, work, and other commitments. Players who get online should use the threat and resources to... Okay, we'd ask the players visit the church in and graveyard in either Valentine or Blackwater. Snap some pics, talk about the good times and share them with others in the community, in-game or our subreddit and discount. Okay. was a fast travel like like fallout you know it's like you want to uh... now he's asking me to 1v1 and i'm like nah i got my drink got my adrenaline out besides you ran so i'm satisfied 1v1 dude what's the 1v1 yeah fuck off i'm gonna tell him be someone else's bitch there you go. Woo! 
If you want to be a real dick, say, uh, my friend sends his regards to your mother. Chased by wolves here. What shotgun for four? Did you join my session? No, I got the full action. They're also at the. The funny part is that the wolves are actually chasing me at the edge of the the curve of the, the mountain range. So all it takes is one wrong move and they'll fall off. Also, I'm I'm, I'm gonna write it. Also, my friend sends sends his regards to your mother. There you go. Block him after that. Don't even give him the time of day. Fuck him. Watch, he'll be like, oh, it was just a prank, bro, I was bored. Then go fucking fight, then go do what I do as Patrick, go fucking kill some NPCs and pay off the debts. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's why I don't take on players, I just kill the NPCs because they, they can't fight back. <laughs> It's like, I don't want to fight players. I'm not- I'm not here to kill players. I'm here to just fuck around, I'm like... It's like, man, passive mode would be so fucking amazing, but that... There uh, technically is a passive mode. The defensive one? Defensive status or whatever? It's like you get one... Like, if they shoot you twice, you get one extra shot or something like... Alright, I'm out. Ah. You block them? Good. Yep. Blocked nice. him, I sent that last message, I said, also, my friend sends his regards to your mother. <laughs> Fuck him. Uh, so Alright, invite- uh, alright, join my session, you two. Yeah. One moment. A moment just went by. <laughs> Hold on, I guess- Anyway, let's I, get back- uh, anyway, let's get back I on need schedule. To put some, I need- I need to, yeah, let's go back to our regularly <laughs> scheduled program. <laughs> Now where were we? Oh yeah, we were at the moonshine drinking and getting drunk. Alright, invite the session, let's go. I know you guys aren't into 2K22, but... I made the last arena, or I helped with the last arena design for 2K22. Uh, for our little wrestling series. It's basically a combination of... Um, Jim Henson's Labyrinth, and a little bit of Robin Hood and Lord of the Rings, kind of. Ah, cool. Like, I decided to, because I figured we, you know, it'd be kind of cool to have, like, a King of the Ring arena. And basically, right. it's like a tournament a with, posse. yeah. So I designed the logo, and I'm actually kind of happy with that. I, I tried to make it look as... I mean, it could have been a lot better, but... You know what? I should have mentioned to the guy that he... As soon as he used explosive bullets, you know. Alright, I'm here with you. Alright. I should have I should have told him that using explosive bullets was a bitch thing. Oh, I'm sure they know. I'm sure they know for real. It's like explosive bullets is always the last resort. But it's that's like That's kinda of what I've noticed. Like any players who like to harass people, like that's their that's their last move. It's like They'll switch over to explosive bullets as a last-ditch effort to try and, you know, get and get the upper hand. Anything's better than nothing. All right. Now that I got that out of my system. Actually, I want to go back and look at the video. Yeah. I could probably I don't know if I could share play. It'll it'll go up on YouTube, but I'll edit out the me delivering. The the, no, I'll edit, no, I'll edit out me delivering the fucking murder threats. I, I can't help it. It's just like you get so wrapped up. It's like one or two kills. It's like okay, I got the point. You're fucking great, amazing. But then they go after like. Third kill, fourth kill, fifth kill, and they're like, motherfucker, like, just let me, you got your point, you got the biggest balls in the session, get the fuck out, you proved your point, get out, go kill some cops in the game, like, that's why I, that's why I just get fucking ragey, because it's like, man, paid set, paid 50 bucks to get killed in a game constantly when I'm just trying to fucking relax. What did Nevermind91 say, did he ever respond? I, I right. just, you know what, that's, that's no big deal. Yeah, it... I would say remove that guy, Mr., you know... He, I'm willing to bet he didn't even remember you. 
Who, the, the Marshall guy? The guy, the Marshall guy. I'm almost certain he didn't remember. Oh, he will remember. I'm sure he remembers me, because I left him a very nice letter. <laughs> I left uh, him a letter of recommendation. For my fist. Shoved up his fucking face. I, that's I know you didn't get... I know you probably didn't get to land... It does, I'm hits. happy just seeing him run off. I'm I'm not a skilled shooter in this game, so I'm kind of used to it. Yeah. Although, like, I, mean, I guess the, the one time I did get a, a nice lucky shot in was like in a... F I think I did get like a couple of shots in like in, in the previous Griefer attacks. Like caught him unawares, but they're not like nothing to write home about. Like, yeah, that was like a 500 mile of shot. Course, this, cla this classic Griefer is, you know, the usual word of, you know, it's a game, bro. I'll be like, yeah, game my ass, so just... You see a player just sitting by the tree who's AFK, sorting out his photo album. Yeah, let's go shoot the fucker over and over again when he's not fighting back. I feel like... You know what I feel like? Like, just... <laughs> If we ever run into his partners, we get back at them too and just say, Hey, you remember this guy? <laughs> just, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> and just shoot him. <laughs> Go after Honey Pea and this other dude. Yeah. Uh, all I'm, let's, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I hope we don't have to run into them again. I, I dealt with them. We dealt with them once. I don't think... We need to worry about them again. And besides, I forget half the names of the people who harassed me, you know? Yeah. So it's like, why why, why bother hanging on to a grudge when, you know... Here, we'll do, here, we'll do some of the in-game... We'll do one of the dishonorable missions just to, uh... <laughs> I was right, one of the Reddit posts. He's like, oh, well, this is going to get griefed. <laughs> and they, one guy's like, yep, damn right. <laughs> damn right it is, and guess who'll be there? <laughs> yeah, like, people... there. You know griefers are going to take advantage of, you know, the fact that people are trying to mourn. The fact that Red Dead is, as of right now, a lost cause. Although, I will admit, the, re the following reply that this guy said on the Reddit post is... No, actually, I was interested to see the result. Could be a rather interesting thing to get outside perspective on. Watching a mess of players just open up on each other could turn into one of the biggest unscripted PvP events in Red Dead Online. <laughs> because, as you know, you got that. You're gonna have that one player who gets bored and decides. Can you can, to you, shoot. can you imagine though? Like, so, like I go there and then say you guys are lucky enough, you guys show up, right? And we're all congregating at the Blackwater Church. And then, you know, five, seven, ten other players show up, and we actually... Nothing really happens, we're all just kind of, like, emoting, everyone's just kind of taking their time. Yeah. Get a couple more people, and then next thing you know, the fucking barroom brawl from Blazing Saddles takes place, and it's just everybody either shooting somebody or punching everybody. The biggest you know bar fight in Red Dead history. Uh, Red Dead Online history. I would be down for that, just... You know what? That I mm, maybe I'll turn on my mic for that. If that actually shows up, we go, we do the funeral. If nothing happens, just play it safe. Then say, hey, let's let's go down to the Blackwater Bar. Okay, let's let's go get wasted. Go in, it's a bar fight. What? He's like, hey man, that was my beer. No, that was my beer. <laughs> just punch, kick. <laughs> And then, like, in the, it'll be like that one, um, that one video that we had where we were fighting them, and all of a sudden we start punching each other. <laughs> like, we're punching these guys. Patrick accidentally turns around, slugs you, and then you slug Patrick, like, right in the jaw. We start choking each other, we're like, wait, wait, no, you're not the enemy. Turn around. <laughs> Take on the other guys. <laughs> Just. Dude, okay, if it winds up being like that, I would be all in. Just one massive fucking Blazing Saddles bar fight in Blackwater. Count me in. Mm -hmm. like, I personally hope it doesn't come to that, but we'll see. 
I mean, if it does, if you know, it'll, it'll either go very wrong or go very right. It'll, we'll see. This you know, is... I'm thinking about the the more I'm thinking, the more I'm I'm realizing, like I'm starting to tell, like you can tell when someone is a uh, confident player and who isn't. Like I've had people who have harassed me, and I would harass them back, and they would actually message and be like, you know, we're just bored, you know. Like, I mean, like, it doesn't excuse it, though. Like I know, but if they apologize, right. and if they apologize, that's fine with me, you know. Or they just say they're bored, you know. It's like, yeah, okay, sorry, you know. But then, but then you got this guy who's like, you, like, you pussy, lol. Like that was all he could say to when I told him consider that retribution. <laughs> I left him like a fucking three paragraph letter from an angry, concerned parent. <laughs> No, it was. It didn't feel like a, a parent. Like uh, it was all the f bombs that would make AVGN blush. Hey, you motherfucker! Motherfucker! Just trying to look my fucking face, motherfucker! We're going to shove my knife in your fucking. You know, it's just like I'm almost certain. I'm almost certain that the guy thought that you called for me. Like, if he, I'm surprised he didn't ask. You know. He probably knew because I was there. Like, well, he probably. Well, we, me and me and Ollie were me and Ollie were both on the cliff, so he had to have seen me. I know, but what I mean is, like, I could have. He didn't ask, and I could have told him, "Oh, no, 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 sir, I did not come here." You know. He's like, I didn't come here he by asked. request. I chose to come here. <laughs> like, I am here because I because I do not condone. Because I do not condone, you know, harassing smaller players because you're bored. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, man. It's just the nature of the thing. If I see a player standing still, obviously, my first instinct is, well, they're AFK. It doesn't make sense to be like, haha, pow. No, like, well, here's the thing. You have to think like a griefer. He's, you have to think, easy target. It's like, lol, one shot because, kill. Because, like, everyone else would be the same. Like, I'm not running around this game thinking, oh, that's a that's a person to kill, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, oh, it's like, like, I don't know. Like, oh, that, it's like, oh, that, it's like, oh, hey, that person is, is just walking around enjoying himself. Why don't I go shoot him? Like, I don't even shoot the people who are, you know, fighting the police and all that, you know? I mean, I could get it if it was a one-time... Like, if I got shot once, if I would... Like, he did burn me on the first try. Like, if he burned me and then he left, I would have been like, okay, it was a joke. It was like, huh, wait till, wait, wait till we get that guy's reaction if we set him on fire and he's just like, what the fuck? And I was like, okay, prank taken, it's fine, no big deal. But burn me, respawned, pulled out the gun, but then I was like, no, 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 let's see where this goes, and I put it back in my pocket, and then walked back to my location to get my horse, shot again, then the arrows, then the... I was just like, bruh, dude, not fighting back, you got your point, go! You know, it's just... It's like, man, I kind of... I'm gonna be honest, I wish there was, like, a, an ability card where one gun had, like, a one-hit kill, you know? Make it real that life. Like, technically... I mean, there the only way to get one, it when it kills if you shoot him in the head, right? Yeah, the best gun for that, in my opinion, like, is either the Springfield or the Bolt Action, because, well, actually, any of the guns work, but, like, because they have the best accuracy, you know? Like, a shot to the head, and this is why I, my skill tree has the uh, painted black, you know? Because a shot to the head is really all you need. Unfortunately, that doesn't help when you have players who have the helmet card, which basically grants them a free. It it grants it grants them one free um. Uh, save if they have a hat on. Hmm. And that guy, because he was wearing a hood, you know, it made. He probably had that perk on, and that's why shooting him in the head was doing little or nothing. Yeah. I would just love one ability where the gun just 
shoots them in the chest and they fall over. Like, real gun physics, I guess, if that makes any sense. Like, yeah, that's fair. All right, shoot them in the chest. And, yeah, let's do whatever you guys want. I'm free. Let's let's just do let's just get let's do something that to, you know yeah with this un unforeseen adrenaline you know yeah all right we're gonna go fight the army there we go and then afterwards we'll do the uh, San Denis uh, bank heist I'm kind of glad that the the closure. Uh, this game is allowing us to at least revisit the missions and go back to Disarmable and stuff like that, you know? It's honest, I still don't get why the fuck they were like, like, oh, you have to be a certain honor to do this. It's like, the fuck? They're, the more I think about it, this game probably should have been more like story mode in the sense that you could just kind of you take your character and you're free to take whatever path you choose instead of honor and dishonor i think that system kind of kills it because it's like what? why not just have your your guys your guy starts off in jail he's got a storyline but the entire wild west is your is your kingdom you could do whatever you want instead of going honor and dishonor why not just have like you know two versions of a mission like say like, instead of a difference between an honor and dishonor mission, just why not say, okay, well, I'm a good guy, so there's a good guy version of this where I'm I'm the, I'm the, helping the army fight some invaders, and then there's a dishonorable version where you're on the opposite end. I don't know. Uh, well, what I was going to say is, like, what I mean is they shouldn't have made it that it's locked by honorability. Yeah. Like, it, should, it should be, like, if you've done it, then you can just go back and replay it. It should You shouldn't have to change your honor just because... I got bored of the Marshall missions, and I'm not gonna lie when I say this, the Marshall missions, I'm morally conflicted with. They should have just, they should, they should just dropped the honor dishonor thing completely. Just let people run. I mean, it, they it's a go. I mean, it's a good system in my honest opinion. Like, and I mainly because it encourages. Well, if you're if you're wanting to play this game, it encourages players. Why do I have two John Lennons with me? John Lennon and Yoko Ono. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are they doing in Red How many tries do you think they will take to complete this mission? Well, let's find out. Number nine? Number nine? <laughs> Number nine. <laughs> Swinging 60s, man. Wait a minute, is Ollie? Wait, did Ollie still? Ollie, you still? Away? Ollie, you're here with us, right? He had to go help his mother. Oh. I guess you know. We'll just stand. We'll just stand here and wait. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Let's stand here. Well, oh, I didn't even hear him. Did you hear him? Because I didn't hear him. I think I just realized at the last minute, like, oh wait, he had to go take care. Ollie is dead. <laughs> Revenge ain't my primary motive. My primary motive is profit. Only thing about this is we can kill two birds with one stone. If we take out the ammunition dump on the place, then there ain't no way they can blow a hole in the bank they were planning on robbing, which leaves us to do You know, wouldn't it have made more sense to just let them try and attempt this, you know? And the reason I say this is because it's like, like the army, like this is probably this is probably the United this is probably the U.S. Army's you know least fav least favorable moment in history, you know. Yeah. Oh boy! Oh no! Skip, 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 skip! skip. I don't want to see this guy. No. Oh. We are what we are. This guy didn't even get his own storyline, or did he? He had a very brief one. His brief story... Who, the old guy or the black guy? The the old guy, the, the crazy old man beard guy. I wish I could remember who any of these characters are. I, I guess I need to play the, the, the main storyline. Samson, you know, the, the outlaw that, you know, gets double-crossed. All right. 
Let's... Alright, let's see. Ollie? Let's look at Ollie. No, 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 no. You come over here, we'll stand by Ollie and just stare at him. <laughs> Wake up, Ollie. It's not a dream, Ollie. If I shoot you... If I shoot you in the game, you die in real life. Wake up, Ollie, come on. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, like... <laughs> Give him a t cold stare. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is dude, his character looks like my, like a grandma. Like yeah, a, I know. I mean we can't all be perfect. Like even I botched Patrick when I first made him, but well, still it's like mm. Well Ollie has not made a second attempt at percent. He really should, I think he should, because I imagine his character in his eyes would probably want to be at least beautiful looking, but Lord have mercy. It just looks like a dude in drag. <laughs> You're probably not wrong on that. Can I punch him? No, I can't. Damn! <laughs> Your turn. You, you, you. Listen to me, Ollie. We need our third guy. Damn it. <laughs> Ollie. What were you doing? I'm trying to lasso him. I'm trying to rope him? Yes. Oh, it, and he actually goes on top of the player model, but he's gonna get kicked out for inactivity. If he does, then we'll just we'll just continue, okay? Yeah, I'll just go on ahead. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, I don't know. I'll just maybe we could sit Give there a and moment. Just stare into the depths of Ollie's eyes <laughs> and get creeped. What makes Ollie Ollie? Ollie Ollie. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Come on, man. We have work to do. Ugh, okay, I'm back. Just gonna be back for a bit. Hey, buddy. Alright, let's go ahead and blow this place up. Give me a moment. Sadie, get out of the way, it's too dangerous. She'll run away after you shoot it. Okay, I missed. There we go. This is what you guys get for harassing the natives! Well, to be, actually, to be honest, Zach, Zach is doing him is doing something he would regret. Like, I have that as a thing, you know? Yeah. Going upstairs. I'm gonna fucking slash you. So. Guess I okay, to thank you. Yes. Go to hell, says the other guy. Here, hang on. Don't kill the guy inside. I'm gonna lasso him and we are gonna drag him to hell. So, don't go inside this building. Don't One. go in the building with the guy's uh, icon. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the leader. Because we, because we are gonna talk tie him and give him the business. The business. We're gonna give him the bees knees. We're gonna give him the beekeeping business. Oh, wait, you want? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's we'll, we'll, go with that. The more I look at this army, the more I start to think they're not actually part. They're a, they're corrupt for you know the fact that they. Uh... Here, I'm gonna slash you to pieces, sir. You wanna fight? Wait, you wanna he's fight just, in the war? He just he just collapsed on the floor. Holy shit! All right, I'm gonna go get our fellow. Okay. Yeah. I'll take care oh, of these guys so. coming in. Alright, oh, let me oh, go I ahead got, and make mind, sure I got him. Let me make sure I'm full on health, because this guy has a shotgun. Hey, sir. How you doing? You know, that's sad. You missed at point-blank range with a fucking... 
<laughs> this guy missed me at point blank range with his shotgun, dude. There, don't shoot him yet. Let me come out. I'm just shooting the, the building. Oh my god, my guy's tipsy. Hey! Hang on. Hey! Yeah, you forgot to use, uh, not use Moonshine. Hey, guys! You, look at our friend! Nice. <laughs> hey! He's like, hey, sir, you're going, you're going to die here, you know that, right? This is what happens when you just, you try to turn your back on this country. Let him have it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, hey, Hunter. What Ed, are you doing? We are murdering a U.S. Uh, colonel. Those bullets hit him so hard he actually flew through the other side of the... Wow. <laughs> Don't, that's gonna get us in trouble! <laughs> <laughs> that would get us in some trouble. We just murdered a U.S. As Colonel! FBI, open up! Alright, let's... Let's go. That's okay if I start playing dynamite. Yeah, if you want, go ahead. Or I'll throw go it. Go for it. Gravesend bolas? Is that new? I never heard of that. Oh, that, no, those are the bolas. You know, those things you throw to trip a guy? I have never had that. That's the first on me. I barely remember that, ever having that. I think I got that as a reward, maybe. Well. <laughs> they blew up while I was still there. <laughs> and I just... I just... Push away and I didn't die. Okay. All right. Let's go. Go. All right. I actually well, lasso him. Oh, no, I cannot. <laughs> I was like, can I lasso the, the NPC? Yeah, as soon as you run to him, we're done. That bastard's death makes my life much easier. Now we won't have the army going after the same banks as we are. I really, you know, sir, I'm gonna tell you this okay, right now. I think you should have let the bank rob the place and maybe cast a pall on the army. I would like to have it that, like I said, my for my st canon story, Zach's father was a soldier during the Spanish-American War of 1898, and was one of the casualties, you know, which is why Zack would have a bit of a soft, well, not a complete soft side, like, he is, he won't ignore the atrocities of the army, but at the same time, you know, he, he tries, he has friends in the army that he could reason with, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Ah, good times. Good times.